Hello, my name is Arturo Espinosa and I'm going to show you how to make tire mastized sandals with tires and rope. On this part of the series, uh, we're going to draw our pattern for the sole and cut the tire from that pattern. We're going to take the piece of paper and uh, the roll point pen. Place your foot on the piece of paper and uh, well my, my foot is quite large as you can see so I'm going to use the diagonal and um, I'm also going to give more space to the tip because we're going to enlarge the pattern a little bit forwards okay uh, just to well in my case to avoid uh, the mistake I made with my with my first sandals. So um, so we're just going to take the, the pen and uh, trace around our foot. It doesn't have to be very precise or anything. Um, And uh, you can go to Steve Sachin's from Invisible Shoes uh, video, uh, at least for a more um, eloquent description of the process. But um, the most important thing is to get um, an outside um, outline of, of your foot. Then, well, you're going to find your ankle bone here and just place a mark in front of that then on the other side uh, you're going to try to find the place where your foot uh, is uh, has the least contact with the floor it is around, in my case, around here, although my foot are pretty flat anyways and the most important mark is for the uh, front hole, which is here. And a very good uh, tip is to try to make the hole as close to uh, this uh, toe and not as close to this one, because our our foot, when we're running, it tends to go to the inside part. It kind of, of um, travels in that way. So we're, we want the rope to give us more support and uh, avoid the foot from sliding out of the, of the sandal. So it's going to be more inclined on that part. And that's pretty much it. Now the, the next part is uh, smooth out the um, different con contours. Although, well, without the tools that we'll be using to cut the tire, it's not very important because uh, the chisel doesn't have uh, a very, it's not very precise anyways. And uh, what is an important step is that we tend to extend the pattern to the outside part and then to the front. Okay. I take like an, an inch or so to the front part. And then with the tire, uh, when we have the sole ready, we, we could uh, cut a little bit more if, it, if there's excess material. It's going to be really easy to cut uh, excess material, but it's, it's not as easy to... Uh, it's impossible actually. If you make it too, too small, then it's over. Um, you will have to make uh, a new uh, sole completely. Okay? So I wanted to illustrate why uh, we are going to give more uh, space in the front part of the sole and that is because 
uh, this rope, when it gets attached, uh, your foot is going to go here, with your big toe here. And this is going to give forwards, okay? Um, because when you hit the ground, uh, the sole stops, but this gives and your, your foot uh, travels a little forwards, okay? And so this is going to move in that direction and your foot is going to travel accordingly, okay? Your foot is the one that is actually going to push the rope, okay? We're going to drive these uh, marks we did here, put some dots inside because we're going to cut and these marks are, won't be any, uh, visible anymore and maybe smooth this a little bit to get some separation for the for the strings well here this will give some more room for the strings on your foot and we are ready to cut. Take your scissors and just cut around. The next step is to take a measurement on the length of the, pa the pattern. In my case it's almost exactly one foot. Okay, and this is going to be um, we're going to cut now the, the tire and uh, of course it's it would be very hard to work on the tire uh, with the chisel directly here. Uh, I think almost impossible. So the first step in cutting the tire is to um, cut just the rectangular sections that are bigger, of course, than our own pattern. And uh, we're going to use a knife for that. And then afterwards, we're going to use a chisel to get uh, the desired shape, okay? So uh, just take, take the length and uh, make some markings for that. And you want to make sure that uh, that the width is is correct as well. You don't want to cut something that is narrower. It's in general just a, a rough cut, so it doesn't matter that much. Just make sure you are on the outside. Take your pointy knife. and just try to get through on a rocking motion. So you can see the, the rubber kind of grabs the knife, so some water is always useful. There we go. Okay, now that this knife is not going to be so efficient for cutting through, but it's, it's pretty good for getting started with the first puncture. There we go.
Excellent. And then we're going to use uh, this knife, which is going to be more faster. And just pull and go through. Remember to get the blade wet. That is going to make things much easier. As you can see, um, cutting the tire with the knife can be uh, a slow process. You're going to need some patience. You have to do four of this and two um, across. So um, that's why I, I got this tool here. And I think it could be much faster. So uh, I'm going to try it, uh, see what happens. But I think it's going to be faster than the knife. So the gardening scissors, they turned out to be uh, quite good. I think they're more comfortable, not really that much faster, a little bit, but I think I prefer them to the knife. Now I'm going to uh, finish with the uh, cross section um, with the knife and then we're going to cut another rectangular section uh, for the second sandal. Okay, so we got now our first segment for the for the sandals, and uh, just repeat the same process for the second one. Okay, so there you go. Those are the two pieces that we cut out from the tire. So uh, in the next series, we are going to actually uh, cut uh, these segments um, in the shape of the pattern and get them drilled ready for uh, the final stage which is the roping. Uh, you may want to uh, give them, wash them a little bit because usually tires are full of grit and well they're ready now to become your sandals.